In 2023, I have many goals, but the biggest one of them all is to be a gay cowboy. And what better way of doing that than by playing Stardew Valley and just having a gay old time. In fact, it's going to be so gay that the first time Robin set foot onto the farm with me, all she had to say was, this is your gay farm. And yeah, it may look like Robin's trying to insult me here, but um, that's just what I named the farm because I thought it'd be funny. And here is my new home. And there is an old man, Lewis. And y'all are gonna get mad at me, but um, hear me out. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more appropriate though. Robin, my grandpa just died. I know you're desperate for a sale so that you can get like some money from renovating my house. Can you not speak ill of the dead? His soul hasn't even left the farm yet and you're out here trying to insult him like that. It's day one here on my beautiful gay farm and um, I don't really know what to do. I guess we could just start off by being proficient. I don't know, plant these 15 parsnips. By the way, I'm playing on console. I'm playing on my Switch. Here's proof if you don't believe me. I'm not in the mood to buy the game again. Leave me alone, I'm poor. <laughs> All I know for day one, the most important thing to do is to basically just greet everybody. But considering that it's so early in the morning, there is like no point of doing any of that. So I'm just gonna clean up my farm, especially cause like right away, if I can get enough wood, I could probably just like craft a chest. So that's a big brain move on my behalf. Although chopping down trees is gonna use up a lot of energy. Oh crap, I can't even get to those, dang it. I have to like clear the way, excuse me. Give me all this wood, thank you. See, look at that, I have 57 pieces of wood so I can already craft a chest, bam. Just like that, I already have storage. I haven't even said hi to any of the residents and I'm already being a better player than most people. Oh my God, my big brain, hell yeah. Actually, let me get these mixed seeds. You know what, like let's plant the mixed seeds while we're at it. Bam, now I'm gonna get parsnips and whatever grows from this stuff too. Who's proud to see how proficient of a player I am? Ignore my energy bar though, that's not something I'm proud of. Day one activities. We might as well try and go say hi to everybody and also forage while I'm on the way because as you can see, I'm broke. Let's kill these worms. Ooh, that got me some clay. I don't know what clay is for still. I feel like I've been playing this game for so long and I still have no idea. So maybe I'm not that good of a player. Y'all don't judge me. Is the shop open? I mean, I have a little bit of money, so we might as well go and see if I could just like buy something. Let's see, for 500, I can get parsnips cause that's pretty cheap. I kind of want to splurge though. Let's just get like some cauliflower, like maybe just two, a kale seed as well. Maybe we'll just spend the rest on parsnips. Not too much though. I think like four is enough. And we might as well say hi to everybody. Hi, Abigail. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving on to that old farm. Also, I learned recently that that little blue pulsing dot at the corner, that actually represents how many hearts you have with the player. Like it changes color the more hearts you get. So that's fun. Here's Pierre. I don't care about Pierre. So we're moving on from that. Marnie, my girl. Hi. <laughs> She's cute. She's just chilling here. All right. Oh, I see Sam. Hi, sir. Wait up. My super saiyan freak. Talk to me. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet ya. He just looks like supersonic, okay? I feel like if you're attracted to Sam for that reason, I, I respect it, honestly. Hey, Alex. So you're the new guy, huh? Cool. I don't normally do jocks, but Alex is here, so that's pretty cool. Here's Penny. Hi, Penny. Bye, Penny. Um, Mayor Lewis has nothing in his trash. That's good. Ooh, oh. Oh, crap, but my... Freaking storage is almost full. Okay, wait, I have to run home. There's so much forageables down there. Okay, wait, let me go put everything away and then we'll come back to that. Hang on, hang on. I forgot though, like how little storage you have when you start off the game, only 10 slots. That seems so unfair. <laughs> Can I even get to my house from here? I didn't even notice that. Ah, crap, I have to like make my way through. It's like a maze. I'm trying not to use as much energy though. Yeah, we should be good. Hopefully there's a clear path from here. I'm gonna save all my crops and just plant them later on because I do not have enough energy to do that. And bam, we can already sell some stuff right away. Making some profit on my first day. Ooh, who is she? Ooh, I see Harvey. Okay, I could say hi to you. Hi, Harvey. He's definitely a bachelor that's worth marrying because he's a doctor. So that means he has a lot of money, hopefully. This is a child. Shout out to this child. I don't have any thoughts about children. Green haired girl, 
um, Mother Milf Queen. Shout out to her. Oh my God. And here's our gilf, Miss Evelyn. Hello. Evelyn is so cute. I love her so much. Oh, here's Maru. Hey, girl. And of course, here's this old fuck right over here. <clears throat> It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off, hmm? And I know that seems like a rude greeting, but honestly, he's so real for that. Like, this man is just trying to mind his business and watch his TV shows, and then some random-ass guy just comes in and, like, starts saying hi to you. I don't want that. Get out of my house. George, he just represents us. You might want to hate him for that, but you cannot deny that it is rude to just enter people's houses without their permission, especially when you don't know them. Elliot is a god. That's all I have to say about him. Okay, now here's the fun part. I get to forage. Ooh, look at all this stuff. I could sell immediately and make some money. It's actually not a lot. It's only five. But listen, last time I played, like, things never show up on the beach for me. So, like... This is exciting, okay? Leave me alone. Okay, we gotta make the rounds. I wanna try to say hi to as many people as I can on the first day. Like, it's good to just get it out of the way. I don't know if you get any rewards for saying hi to everybody. Is there really a point to saying hi to everybody other than just knowing who they are? I don't know. Here's the museum. Hi. Bye. Okay, he's still talking. Bye. <laughs> I don't have anything else to say about that. Um, Can I say hi to Clint? Nope, he's closed. Okay. I might as well just wait until everybody piles up at Gunther's, you know? Because I feel like that would be the best way to say hi to everybody. What else is there to do on the first day aside from just saying hi to everybody? I mean, I feel like I've already been productive enough. Like, I did some farming. I did some foraging. I can't go fishing yet. I don't know. Should we just like fast forward until I can say hi to everybody else? That's probably a good idea. Let me stop talking now. Actually, wait, where's Linus? Demetrius is here too. That's fun. I can say hi to him. Hello. Shout out to Demetrius. I don't really know much about him, but he seems cool. I love Linus so much. I wish he could just move in with me and be a roommate. I know he likes to be alone, but so do I. Like, I can, I, can I just build him a house? I want to build him a little house on my farm so he can just come and live with me. Linus, I love you. Oh my God, more wormies just chilling here. Ooh, okay. I just got a, a hand for the museum. That's cute. Imagine just digging in the ground and you end up getting a hand. A person's skeleton hand. That's actually not fun. <laughs> I would be scared. Put your hands up if you would be scared too. What if I just eat this algae? That's a good idea. Get some energy. Bam. And then I could probably just plant all this stuff right over here. So that way they can harvest as I can harvest them as soon as I can. That's a great idea. Let's just do this. Um... Okay, again, playing on console. Don't judge me for my hoeing skills. I'm not the best hoe, especially on console. Leave me alone. Okay, we need to head to the bar as soon as I can because I need to say hi to everybody else. I got the ring light, you know, that little ring that emits light around you constantly in my other save. So it's so weird seeing me at like this dark once again. Ooh, the gang's all here. Here's Clint, shout out to Clint. Um, here's Pam. Pam is a person. This is Gunther. I still think he looks like Mario. And here's Emily. And listen, as we all know, I'm... But honestly, like, if I was straight, I would definitely go for Emily, which I feel like is very telling of my sexuality because, of course, I'd go for the girl with blue hair. Of course, Sebastian's not here. The one day I hope he'd be here, he isn't. But Shane's here. Hi. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? First of all, if you're a Shane hater... Okay, because I personally like Shane and people are always like, man, Shane this, man, Shane that. What do you have against people with mental illness? Because last I checked, he's the way he is because he's depressed and y'all want to shame him for that. And people always are like, he's so mean. The first time you talk to him, he says this. Of course he would say that. He's not being mean. He's being real. Why are you talking to a stranger? Didn't you learn that at a young age, stranger danger? Leave him alone and just gift him stuff to become better friends with him and then maybe he'll open up sorry shane is too relatable for y'all to handle it like i just i relate to him too much every time i see people slander shane online i'm just like y'all are so rude oh god i just realized i'm going back up this way um bad idea on my behalf because there's still like no clear path for me to go oh my god why did they make the game so dark 
I mean, I get that it's realistic, but like, come on. This was a pretty successful first day for me. Oh my God. Can I just say that? Like, I actually had a decent day and I already leveled. Okay. <laughs> I already leveled up my foraging. Damn. This is the third save I've ever had in Stardew Valley. And look at me, like I'm making my way up. Oh my God, I basically made back the money I spent today too. Y'all professional Stardew Valley players, watch out because this gay ass bitch is coming for you. Um, okay, thank you for this useless flyer, okay. And Willie's here. Ooh, that means I can start fishing soon. You know what? Like, let's just clear off this area right in front of me. You know, like, let's at least have this area look nice and presentable for any cute boys that decide to, like, stumble on my farm. Like, hey, Shane, how you doing? Why are you here? Hey, Sebastian. Hey, Alex. This is my farm. I definitely want to have the boys over at some point, y'all. Like, I got to impress these people. I got to let them know what they're in for if they want to be friends with me. It's so much easier to make friends in this game than in real life. That was depressing, but true. So don't judge me for that. I got a geode, cool. <laughs> Just randomly finding a geode on my farm. That seems fun. I'm gonna save all my artifacts and geodes for just like one day of the week since I don't have minecarts again. Um, I'm not trying to travel all the way to the museum and the blacksmith every single day just to open up one geode and donate one artifact. It is 8.30 in the morning. Shane is here. Hi. What? What do you want? Go away. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> He's late for work, okay? His shift starts at nine in the morning and like it's 20, like he has 20 minutes to get there. Of course, he's going to get mad at you. Ah, of all the people to see me digging through the trash, it had to be him. Of course it had to be him. That was so smart on my behalf. Um, I'm just gonna run away and scream and continue digging trash. Cause look at that, I grabbed an acorn. Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer. Good to finally meet ya. So true, Willie, so true. Willie's cool. I don't know. He's kind of just there minding his business and fishing. And he's giving me a free fishing rod too. Like he's so real for that, just helping me. He doesn't even know who I am and he's already willing to help me. That's how you know he has no social anxiety. All right, here we go. It's actually time to catch a fish now. Uh, oh, wait, this one might actually be easy. Oh my God, look at that. I'm such a professional. I caught a herring. Oh, okay. Here we go, once again, an easy catch. I love when they just stay at the bottom. Like they, oh, it's the herring again. Thank you, herrings. I love the herrings in this game if they're that easy to catch. Okay, okay, it's in the green. I should be safe. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Why is this hard? Oh, it's not hard. Oh my God, it was so easy. Look at me. Okay, I just caught four fish in a row in Stardew Valley. Who do I still need to say hi to? I need to say hi to Haley. Oh my God, here she is. Can I give her a daffodil? For me, thank you. Imagine that. What a fun interaction. Like this is the first time we've ever met and I'm giving her one of her favorite gifts. Like, hi, <laughs> she doesn't even know who I am. I just randomly gave her a flower. I hope she's obsessed with me now because of that. Too bad I'll never end up with you for obvious reasons. Sebastian would probably be home which means he's gonna be locked up in his room, so I can't go say hi to him. Cause honestly, Sebastian's the only smart one here. Actually, that's not true. They all lock their rooms. <laughs> I love how they all lock their bedrooms, but not their house. It seems like it should be the other way around. Why don't you just lock your entire house if you don't want people to talk to you? Okay, here's Jazz. Hi Jazz, bye Jazz. It's so funny how you're able to just enter anybody's house any time of the day, any day of the week. No, going into their bedroom, that's too much. Like that's when they draw the line and they're like, no, you're not allowed in there. I feel like Leah should be easy to find. Why am I not finding her at all? Where would she normally be this time of the day? I don't know Leah's schedule like that. I don't even know who she is. Like, of course I would have no idea. I want to try and meet everybody today so that I could just get that done and dandy and out of the way. But here I am in the forest instead. For what reason? I don't know. Maybe there's some nice forageables in here. Hi, Shane. Do you want to talk to me? No, he's not even going to talk to me this time. <laughs> That's fair. You know what, though? Maybe just to piss off all the Shane haters. Oh, it's 400. Eh, screw it. I do what I want. <laughs> Here, have a beer. How'd you know this is my favorite? Oh my God, he doesn't even care. Like I'm a complete stranger just offering him a beer for no reason. And like now he wants to warm up to me. Where is Sebastian? And where is Leah? Maybe Leah's on her way home. Let's go see real quick. Gosh, I forgot how weird it is in the early game to just go around looking for people on purpose. 
so that I could just like what go be friends with them. Oh my god, there she is, there she is, there she is. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. No, dang it, I was so close. Let me in, let me in. I want to say hi to you. That was the first time I saw her too. I give up. I Leah pissed me off by going into her house, so I'm just gonna go to sleep. Like y'all, I'm over it. It's raining which is a win for me because that means I don't have to water my crops. What am I supposed to do today? I mean, like, you know what? Like today, nothing important happens. So we might as well just spend the morning rather than planting and doing all that. Let's just chop down these trees. Chop, 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 get some more wood. I still have to say hi to Leah. Oh yeah, that's the most important thing I should do today. Say hi to Leah and Sebastian. Cause where, where are they? Like, why are they just not wanting to talk to me? That's so rude. I never do these. I should say that, I never do these. Does that make me a bad neighbor? I feel like I've never once actually completed a quest for anybody. Sorry, I have my own problems in my own life. Like I can't be helping out with your needs when I'm broke. Uh, Let's just fish. Let's see if I can try and fish and actually get some extra coin. Come on, little Vis, you got this. Babes, I believe in you. Clearly I need to believe in you a little harder. Oh, there we go. See, that worked. Of course it was a herring. That's why I caught it so easily. The herrings just love me in this game. I got a treasure. Oh my God. I never get those treasure thingies while I'm fishing because I care more about the fish. Some bait and a coal. Well, I can't use the bait now because I have the basic pole. I, listen, at this point, I feel like I should just maintain, I should focus on myself first. You know, that's what it is. I need to focus on me. Like I don't need the bait right now. I can always just craft it later. Oh, it only gave me 10 coins. I thought it was 10 per bay. You know what? Screw it. I did it anyways. Take this anchovy too. Look at that. A thousand. Almost at a thousand already. That is good for me. There's one good thing worth spending that on right now too. Of course, we got to spend it on a beer for my good friend Shane. Can I just go give it to him right now? He's probably at the Jojo Mart. <gasps> Sebastian! Oh my god, finally! I've been looking for you everywhere. Hi, hottie. Bye, hottie. Oh, look at him staring at me as I walk away. Oh, he knows. He knows the power I hold. Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested. Well, he'll be interested in me right now. Thank you. Let's just pretend it's not actually beer. For the sake of this, because I know his storyline, let's just pretend like it's Pilsners. I'm giving him Pilsners or like something not alcoholic. I just want the hearts, leave me alone. Of course, the one time I actually come by the museum in Gunther's place, I don't have the artifacts and the geodes. Oh my God, she's here, finally, finally, girl. I've been looking all over for you. Hi, don't sit down. Hi, do you get any rewards? No, you just, oh, you have to gift. Oh, wow, of course. I just gifted something to Shane. I could have saved that for this mission instead. Oh my God, I leveled up my fishing already? Wow, who is she? Actually doing a good job at this game. This is so much better than the video I made last year already. cock doodle do. Oh, I hate the crows in this game. It's only day four and I already have one heart with Shane. What can I say? I'm a simp. And I know, I know people are in the comments being like, you can't fix him this. Stop trying to befriend Shane. You can't fix him. Listen, this is the time where I'm gonna spoil the game for y'all since you wanna be little shits in the comments. Shane fixes himself. Do you not pay attention to his storyline? You're just there as his cheerleader as he gets through. He makes the decision to get help and go to therapy. You don't tell him to do anything. Nobody tells him to do anything. And yet here y'all are being like, oh, people who wanna be friends with Shane just wanna fix him. No, we don't. We wanna be friends with him because we want blue chickens. And also because we just think he's really neat, okay? Leave us alone. Ooh, I just got bread. Oh my God, cool. And like genuinely though, I feel like out of all the bachelors and bachelorettes at least from the ones i've learned about like shane has like my favorite story oh my god speaking of he's right here hey bestie do you actually want to talk to me now no okay we have one heart though come on girl you're so much better than that trust me shane i will be your friend whether you want me to or not i see you babes i see you what is that what whoa i'm sorry is that a sea monster excuse me wait i wanted to see it no oh my god it went away <gasps> What was that? I spent the whole day just kind of cleaning up the farm and then I went to bed and my foraging already leveled up to level two. Wow, maybe I am good at this game. I feel like that's what I'm learning right now. I'm actually good at Stardew Valley. It's time everybody. Hi Marnie, you see this dog here? It seems to like this place. You know what, like I, what if you say no? 
Are you able to say no? I don't care, I'm saying yes. What do I wanna name it though? Oh my God. So we need to name this dog after like a fierce bad bitch in real life, you know? Like an HBIC. I'm thinking Regina, after Regina George. Like that's like definitely the baddest bitch I know. And now my dog is gonna be named after her. Shout out to Regina. You be a good pooch. Oh, she's gonna be a good pooch on this land. Trust and believe. Where'd she go? Oh, she immediately disappeared. She went off to go do her own thing. Look at her just sleeping here, minding her business. Regina, I love you. Dear Farmer Vis, I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's really a nice little house. However, you might need some more space someday. I don't care, Robin. I don't care. I mean, to be fair, she offers you a kitchen when you first expand your house. And that leads me to ask this question. My grandpa lived here for like however many years in this little cottage. You're telling me he didn't have a kitchen in his own house? You're telling me he didn't have running water? He was a farmer. And you're telling me he didn't once like wash his hands? Did he use the lake water nearby over here to wash his hands? instead of just getting a sink like a normal human being. Grandpa is so quirky. And don't even get me started on the fact that there are no bathrooms in Stardew Valley. Why doesn't anybody have a toilet? Wait. Wait. I could have sworn it would have unlocked today. Doesn't it unlock the same day as the mines? The community center? Why am I hiding this? We all know what I'm talking about. Moving on from that, here we have something a little more exciting to me at least. The mines. And here we have this handsome fella right over here. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. I love Marlon simply for the fact that he just gets straight to the point. No highs or hellos. He's like, you're here. You're clearly here for business. Let me tell you what's the tea right now. He knows not to waste time. I love a man that's straightforward. Still, there's probably good ore down there, but a dark place undisturbed for so long. I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this. And he just gives me a sword. A man who just gives you a weapon for fun. He has no idea who you are. He just gives you his old sword. Name's Marlin before he even introduces himself. Like he's kind of real. He is real. He sees the potential in me and I kind of respect that. I think the mines alone are enough of a reason for me to play this game. I love this place so much. I will spend hours, I'm not even kidding, hours just chilling down in the mines. Ooh, look at me slaying this random little green pea for no reason. Like this poor thing was just chilling here and now he's trying to fight me. Let's grab some copper ore while we're here. I think you have to grab copper ore and in order to unlock that cutscene with Clint where he like gives you the recipe for the thing. We're already on level four. Um, my pockets are full, so we might as well just find the ladder immediately and get down to level five, bam. Already made it down to level five. Look at me being successful as hell. Anyways, I don't wanna be here anymore. Goodbye. Here we go. The main thing, at least for me, with every Stardew save, the community center. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. I hate people who use big words on purpose, by the way. Just say destroyed. What are you trying to prove by using a big word in front of me of all people? Oh my God. It's the magical green pea gaslighting me too, by the way. Like I can see it and he's purposely waving at me, trying to get my attention, knowing that Lewis can't see it. Like he's being a clown and I kind of respect that. And he just assumes it's rats. He's just like, it's a rat. He's blaming y'all. He's saying it's y'all watching the video instead of a magical green pea. All right, we might as well just explore the building right away. I love how it immediately kicks you out when it's like, you can just stay in there. Because I feel like everybody, as soon as you unlock the community center, you get started on it right away. Unless you're someone who doesn't want to do that. I don't know. Here we have some magical language, blah, blah, blah. That triggers a cutscene later on. But it's good that I did it now. Let's just craft another chest. Like have a, a second chest just ready to go. I feel like it's convenient. I don't need it yet, but it's good to have one early on. I need to level up my farming. That's what I need to do so I can get the scarecrow recipe. As you can see, I haven't been doing a lot of farming for obvious reasons. Why do I have a fish in here? I don't know, I forget. I forgot about this little cutscene. Abysmal, damn. A man who's disappointed as soon as I enter through the room. How relatable. And by the way, if you don't know, Gunther is basically the blathers in this game, AKA a museum owner. I can't believe my first artifact is just a hand. Like a hand. The only thing on display in this museum is some random person's old hand. Is the blacksmith still open? Ah, oh, crap. It closes at four. I came all this way for nothing. Dang it. Wow, I just realized it's Friday. 
Sometimes I lose track of time. It's Friday. Oh my God, the traveling cart girl. <gasps> I forgot about her. How do I always forget about her? Every single Friday and Sunday, I just forget that the traveling cart lady person exists. I know that she's supposed to be a secret. Can they at least make it easier for me? I'm the main character. Things should be convenient for me by default. Is she still open? Please tell me she's still open. Hi. Hi. Ra oh. Are you kidding me? I'm not gonna get mad at her. I'm gonna get mad at the concept of time because listen, she's a businesswoman. She has a schedule. She closes at eight. She's done at eight. I'm not gonna be like that. I was a retail worker in my past time. I was gonna say my past life. I'm gonna be respectful and just get mad at myself for not managing my time better instead of getting mad at the poor retail employees for following the rules. Oh my God, finally, I got the scarecrow. Yes, and mining, I can make cherry bombs. Not even a week into the game yet and I've leveled up everything. Like, who is she? She's a baddie, that's who. Who the hell are you? Oh, we gotta slay some slimes. Okay, Marlin. Marlin knows his lingo. Is that Mr. Rasmodius or is the M an initial? Like, is that his first name? His first name starts with M because he looks like someone whose first name would start with M. Okay, I guess I should head to the wizards first before you know, we do anything else bright and early. Will he let me in at six in the morning? If he was someone whose first name started with M though, he honestly, like considering he's a magical being, his name, he's probably a Mikey. I feel like Mikey's are magical beings. Shout out to any Mikey's. Not Michael's, not Mike's, Mikey specifically. Hi sir, here I am in your house with the purple beard. Ooh, he definitely looks like a Mikey. I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths mediary between physical and ethereal so am i okay we all know what happens he's about to like summon satan or something see there he is <laughs> the devil himself you found a golden scroll written in an unknown language most interesting stay here i'm going to see for myself i'll return shortly <laughs> i love 2d graphic games they do so many quirky things like that and then he just walks through the door instead of teleporting back. I love that. He is so quirky. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. Okay, bilingual kings. We got two bilingual kings in the building, me and Mikey. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. You know, so many special things like pumpkins. Oh my God. And now we're about to do drugs together. This is like the best part. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest, baby fern, moss scrubs, caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? It probably smells good. Like it smells really foresty. I love the smells of forest. Honestly, like I'm willing to drink it. Let's get fucking lit together. Me and the wizard at six in the morning. We about to get crunk. Again, 2D graphics. Only 2D graphics are able to do quirky things like this. I love it here. I think there's supposed to be music in the background, but I have the music turned off right now. So this looks even funnier. It's just all quiet. You gain the power of the forest. I wish I had the power of the forest in real life, honestly. And yeah, just like that, the community center is now officially unlocked. It's seven in the morning. So I guess we should just like head there and like see all the thingies. I don't have remix bundles that made bold, so it's probably just the same ones as they always are. At least that means I can start collecting things for the community center. Shane, oh my God, hi. Why are you bothering me? Because I want to, but he wants to be alone. So I'm gonna respect his space, you know, instead of trying to bombard him like weirdo. If he wants to be left alone, leave him alone. First scroll for the crafts room. There's the spring foraging bundle. That's like, oh, I can actually get the dandelions. I forgot about that. Construction bundle requires 200 woods, 100 stones, and 10 hardwood. How do you get a hardwood in this game? I will never understand that. Fall, summer, winter, and this. Okay, so there's coconut, cactus fruit, cave carrot, mushrooms. These are all basically from the desert area and the cave. Let's see. I'm gonna head to the mines now because the mines are fun but hopefully I can find some forageables on the way there. I don't want to deal with this crab. I hate these stupid crabs. Why are you disguising yourself as a rock? What good does that do for you? I didn't even get anything from that. What a waste of time. Thank you, crabs, for reminding me why you're such a waste of time. Also, every time I'm here, I try to at least get down five levels so that I can unlock the little like elevator thingy, you know, coming from me, a professional Stardew Valley player, even though this is my second save. My second save, I've never played a full year, but already I'm doing so much better than I did the first time. So clearly I'm getting better at the game. <laughs> this, it really is like one of those games though, where like 
it's just about patience. I feel like especially in this day and age, people are so quick to like try to get to the end or like try to max out on everything when like this is not one of those games. This is a game where you have to like take your time and actually enjoy things little by little. I feel like that's why this game has so much longevity to it. Yeah, it does get updates as well, but like not as often. My storage is full, damn it. I didn't even realize. Okay, I'm gonna eat this bread. <laughs> I need to clear some space. I came down here mainly for like copper ore. Why is it taking me forever to find it? I hate when it's like hidden in all these rocks because every single time it happens, it's always in the last rock. Like, look, I'm gonna clear out every single rock in this level and it's gonna be in the last one. Hello? Oh, there it is, okay. <laughs> the one time I complain about it, it doesn't happen. That's the pro tip. If you talk shit about things you hate, um, it will prevent it from happening. I love, by the way, that there's like no actual legit reason why you need to be down here. Like you're literally infiltrating the caves. Like there's no incentive to actually come down here. No motivation. Like you don't even know what's at the bottom of the cave. Can these people stop attacking me? You're just coming down here, slaying all these slimes and bugs. And for what? Like you're just here to have a good time and vibe. Honestly, I kind of respect that. Who was attacking me? Girl, I'm trying to freaking eat my fish leave me alone Ooh, what is, oh, is that the glow ring now wait a dang minute right this second let me eat this i got a glow ring <laughs> already it's like a tiny light but like that's better than nothing i love the glow ring wasn't i just complaining about how dark the game gets at night and i already oh my god see Complaining works. Shout out to Call Me Kevin for teaching me that pro tip. Like, if you just get mad at everything, the world will hear you and stop you from getting any more mad because they hate to see you stress out. I am gonna get rid of this slime because I don't know what slimes are for. I got some nice boots. Let me just put them on right now so I have space in my storage. The struggle is real right now. I literally have no room for anything. Hi, is there anything here worth getting now? I think I need a cave carrot for the thing. So I'll grab that. Coconut, cactus fruit. Ooh, there's actually so much stuff here. Three items in one go. I spent all my money on that, but who cares? We got a coconut, shout out to me. We got this cactus fruit and we got a cave carrot all in one go. All we need are some mushrooms or whatever these are. I feel like I should try and go around and look for some horseradish and leek. Because if I can get those right away, honestly, like, let's make that the goal for today. Let's see if I can find a horseradish and or a leek. Preferably and a leek, not or a leek. I want to try and get everything <laughs> right now. Oh, 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 see? <laughs> see? <laughs> Already a good start. All I need is a horseradish. Oh, while I'm here, let's talk to you. Hi, Linus. Someone was throwing rocks at my tent last night. Tell me who right now. Tell me who. In Stardew Valley, I will go fight someone. I will go smack somebody down for you. I have my sword, not on me. I can use this pickaxe though. Trust and believe. You tell me who it was. I will go fight them for you, babes. Why y'all throwing rocks? I'm talking to y'all like y'all are the ones that did that. No, you weren't. <laughs> you would never throw rocks at Linus. Comment down below if you would not throw rocks at Linus. I better see many people commenting. Also, here's a horseradish. I can't say that word, horse, horse radish. The first bundle is complete on day seven at 12.30 p.m. Granted, this is like the easiest one to complete, but I'm still gonna celebrate because I can. Y'all can't stop me. We got some seeds for that, so that's fun. <gasps> And that happens. I forgot about this cutscene. Ooh, it unlocks the other one. Right. Right, right, right. Does it unlock more? Oh no, the fish tank's unlocked too. We got spring crops over here. I sold all my parsnips. <laughs> I should have kept one for this. Why didn't y'all tell me? Uh, the animal one, the fall one, the summer one, quality crops, and that. And then over here, the fish one. What does that one read? Okay. Yeah, it's basically the same stuff as last time. Okay, we got a fish. Oh god, and this one's a doozy. No! Why is it all the way over there? How is this fish swimming so fast in the water? I mean, it's a fish, so it's probably a master at doing that. Stop pressing the button, it's just chilling at the bottom. Oh my god. I make no sense when I'm stressed, in case it's not obvious. I have no idea what I'm saying. Let me just shut up and focus. Not everything I do and say needs to be in the video. But this can be in the video, I caught a flounder. We're just chilling, fishing together. Two bros hanging out with their rods. Although the positioning of them right now 
especially Willie's. Oh my God. Oh my God. Do y'all see it? Do y'all see Willie's rod? I hate the way that the hands are positioned with the rods. It's making a certain shape now that I see it. Like y'all have to see it too, right? Do y'all see it? Please tell me you see it. Thank God my hands aren't like that. Although like technically, you know, balls come in many different shapes and sizes. So yours could look like that. I'm not judging if they do. I mean, hey, this video is titled Stardew Valley, but gay. So it's only fair that the gay guy starts talking about dicks. Not that I actually like them, which is weird, but that's a conversation for another day. Let's not get into that right now. <laughs> and hopefully my fishing level goes up. Will it go up? Oh my God, it did. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't actually expect that. Wow, level two fishing? Only a week into the game? I'm gassing myself up again because can't gas yourself up. Um, how are you going to gas up other people? It is now the 8th. It is raining, which means I don't have to water my crops today. So you know what? Like, let's just plant the rest of the seeds that I have in my inventory. I feel like that would be a smart thing to do. And since I don't have to water my crops, I'm just going to head back to the mines. I only need my pickaxe, my pickaxe and my sword. I don't have any food though, so screw it. I'm going to risk my life because I can and I think it's fun. Ooh, what is this? A steel sword? Oh crap, my thing is full. What do I get rid of? I don't need this, bye. I'm taking the sword. Four to eight damage and this is two to five damage. Okay, can I just like get rid of the sword? Can I put this in replacement? I don't know if that was a good idea, but I did it anyways. I don't have my fishing rod. Dang it, I could have went fishing in here. Oh well. Shady boy, hi. This weather makes me thirsty. Ooh, interesting. He's actually starting to open up to me because I'm being nice to him. Oh, who could have seen that coming? Wow. Yeah, so I just spent the rest of day nine fishing and it was very productive. And I made 329 gold currency coins. What are they called gold? I guess that's what it is. What a successful day. And now just like that, we're on day 10. Looks like a good day to play catch, huh? I'd ask you to throw the ball around, but you don't really seem like the sports type. I mean, yeah, I don't care for sports. I don't care for balls. Not those kind, at least. A hot guy is here. So I mean, like, what if I just say I want to play catch with you? Really? I guess I underestimated you. My arm's a little sore, but maybe next time. See, he's impressed by that. He, I knew how to impress him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And now I'm digging through his trash, like the classy queen that I am. Ooh, I just got a whole ass meal from that trash can. Good for me. Hey, stop that, yuck, fuck you. I do what I want. Wow, I came all the way down to the beach to go foraging, hoping there would be a lot but there's only one singular clam. What an amazing time. You know what, like while I'm here, do you want it? Oh, a present, thank you. See, Elliot likes that. Elliot likes that, I did that for him. Anyways, there's literally nothing else to do today. So nighty night at 1.50 p.m., knocking out till the next day. <laughs> I wish this was me though, being able to fall asleep right away and just sleeping until 6 a.m. the next day. Like that's kind of magical when you really think about it. God, I get so jealous of people that are able to like fall asleep as soon as they lie down. I don't know how people do that. I lost my favorite ax. If you find it, please return ASAP. Okay, you know what? I mean, I guess like I'll do something for Robin because <laughs> that's, you know, always an exciting thing to do every day. Something for Robin of all people. Um, I don't see it yet, but I feel like I'm getting warmer. I remember it being like by a bunch of cliffs. Maybe it's over here on this side instead. Wait, I actually think I'm getting warmer. Hang on. Hang on. It should be right here. No. Okay, maybe I don't remember where it is. I found it. It's right here. See, I knew I'd remember. I'm headed straight to Robin's. This is a weird looking axe, by the way. Is it even sharp? It looks like one of the axes from Animal Crossing, like the stone axe, the one that you start off with. She better be home, by the way. This is literally my first time I'm going into their house. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Here, take your axe. I'm leaving now. Don't expect me to ever come back. All right, now what do I do? Um, Abby, what are you doing here? Oh no, I think my dad's gonna cook dinner tonight. Why would you say, like, okay, what am I supposed to do with that information? I don't care about you or your dad. At least you have a dad who cooks for you. I do too, so it's like nothing to be ashamed of. Even if he's a bad cook, at least he's willing to cook food for you. You're like 22 and you're still complaining about things your dad does? Grow up. Oh wow, I made so much money today. Babes, I'm rich. 
I'm rich. And just like that, we have made it to the 13th of spring. And you know what that means? I made it right up and early, 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. We're at the Egg Festival. Our hands have been working overtime to prepare for this festival. I love that Shane just loves his chickens so much. They deserve the best tonight. Bowls of full, bowls full of sweet yellow corn. So true, Shane. So true. Linus, hello. No one really talks to me. I just come for the deviled eggs. It's okay, babes. You do you. I won't judge. What do you have to say, Marlon? Even with my bad leg, I never miss a town festival. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, Evelyn, Granny, hello. This festival has been a tradition for as long as I can remember. Tradition connects us both the past and future. It's comforting. What's everyone so happy about? Hmm. Eggs. Why eggs? I agree, George. I do agree. Alex, hello. I try to eat at least three eggs every day. Yummy. I guess before I do the egg hunt, I should probably, you know, buy some strawberries like I've been saving up for. A hundred dollars. Okay. Interesting. So I'm going to spend some money. Let's buy 12. I think 12 is good. Okay. With that out of the way, let us start the egg hunt. Last time I did an egg hunt, I did very well. I won, even though it was my first time. So let's see if I can go two for two. I'm scared. I don't think I'm going to, but... You never know. Uh, okay, okay, I'm being very observant. Oh my god, I see so many eggs already. There's one on this tree. Um, there's one by the sewer. Oh my god, and there's one over here too. Okay, okay. Oh my god, why do I feel like I'm doing good? Seven eggs already. Oh my god, and there's so many eggs over here. How do I get to them? How do I get to those eggs over there? Excuse me. And how do I get this one? This one's on this tree, but I can't get it. And now, the winner of this year's egg hunt at... Damn it. <laughs> it is currently the 14th. And as you can see, it is raining, which means once again, I do not have to water my crops. Not that it matters because as you can see, I have so much harvest today. I guess these are all from the mixed seeds that I got from the community center. That's why they're all just a bunch of forageables, but that's fun. Six in the morning. So clearly nothing is opened yet. I don't want to use up any of my energy right now. Look at all of these geodes and minerals and stuff that I have to donate. I'm not donating that. I need that for the community center. To Gunther and the other person. I think we're just going to spend today doing that real quick. And then afterwards, I'm probably just going to head to the mines and spend the rest of my time over there. What time does Clint's place even open? Is it opened? 9 a.m. Am I really just gonna sit in front of his store for an hour waiting for it to open? I mean, I guess we could. This, yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Okay, it's open. Hello, Clint. I would like you to process my geodes. I forgot that it costs money to do this. One, okay, got something that I already have. Great. Ooh, okay, there we go. <laughs> I got one good item from this. Ooh, two. Okay. Okay. Maybe I am lucky today. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> I mean, like, three, four. Oh. Damn, Gunther's going to be happy with me today. Look at... Okay, never mind. We got some stone. Somehow I ended up getting a lot of good stuff. Cool. So I guess I might as well donate all that to Gunther. Gunther is going to be so happy with me. He's like this random dude who literally just moved in a few days ago. He's coming in with all of these artifacts. Gunther, you better appreciate me. And I got cauliflower seeds. Nice. You know what? It's still raining. So I guess I'll go plant those. Oh, okay. I got a cutscene here for some reason. Ew, it smells, huh? Once again, I walk into the room and everybody's mad at the stench. How relatable. Why would you want to explore the sewers anyways, Winston? You're gonna be stinky if you go in there. Go explore the river or something instead. Or come with me to the caves. That could probably be more fun than the sewers. Yep, and I literally just spent the rest of the day fishing, which mostly consisted of me standing here like this. Waiting. I love how I'm recording this voiceover while I'm waiting for a fish too. Oh, I leveled up my farming. <gasps> plus one watering can proficiency and plus one hoe proficiency. Ooh, I can definitely land a boyfriend with that skill for sure. All right, I'm gonna sell all the crops that I got. Cute. And honestly, I'm already so tired out from that. 
And I really don't have any other plans today. So I think there's only one thing left doing. Nighty night, see y'all tomorrow. Ah, it's bright and early on a Tuesday morning. Wow, I had a really productive Tuesday morning. One hour spent just completely watering my crops. Anyways, time to go to bed again. I think we all understand why I'm speeding through these days. If you know, you know. So I'm going to just spend the rest of my time hibernating until the day comes. Jody needs a fresh cauliflower. And for once, even though this is my second save, I did actually save <laughs> a cauliflower to give to Jody. Look, I actually have some right here ready to harvest. So either way, it's a win for me. Oh my God, there's so much forageables here on the bus stop. This is what happens when you hibernate for a few days. You just let them all marinate and then you can collect them all at once. Ugh, I'm gonna make so much money, which is gonna be so worth sleeping those three days where I did nothing. That's the beauty of this game, is that you can really just take your time. You don't have to do things every single day of the week in order to feel satisfied. You can take breaks. You can take your time. This game goes on for as long as you wanted to. Hello. Oh my God. Oh my God. He almost saw me dig through the trash again. Shane, I'm so sorry about that. No, don't run away from me. Wait, sir, come back, come back. <laughs> don't you have work to do? Yes, I do. It's bothering you because I'm annoying. Once again, it is currently 8.30 a.m. and Jody's house doesn't open until 9. So I'm just gonna camp out in front of her porch until 9 a.m. so I can get in there and give her her damn cauliflower. I'm gonna go with the cauliflower in hand just so she knows that I'm here with a purpose. Okay. <laughs> Jody, are you in here? Oh no, is she in her bedroom? Wait, this is in her house. Oh my God, this is Haley and Emily's house. Wait, I camped outside of the wrong house, my bad. Oh, that must've been really, really weird then. Imagine just seeing a man holding a cauliflower on your porch for no reason. You, take this cauliflower. Oh, that looks delicious, thank you. You're welcome, queen. It's day 20 in year one of spring. Today is a very, very important day. And more importantly, luckily for me, I have a green bean which means I can donate that to the community center and finish another bundle. But before I do that, I need to wait for a very special person on this very special day. You remembered my birthday? I'm impressed. Thanks. You're welcome. Honestly, like, that's so real of him. Like, <laughs> why are you bothering? Okay. We were about to have a nice little heartfelt moment. I give him a beer and wish him happy birthday and immediately he's just like, no, thank you. I can go into his room though. Look at me, I'm in Shane's bedroom. What have y'all done? I'm going through his things. He doesn't want me bothering him. I'm gonna just snoop through all of his personal belongings. What does he keep in his nightstand? And more importantly, bam, I completed another bundle. Ooh, like, okay, I really am doing that. And I got fertilizer for completing that one, nice. Nice, nice, nice. And just like that, that unlocks another little bundle thingy that I have to complete. Ooh, it's the boiler room, right? Yes. Good to know. The boiler room requires a lot of wood and a lot of metal. Oh, I accidentally walked into Pierre's and I just initiated a cutscene. What is happening? Why am I walking right over there? Oh God, am I the center of attention in this one? No, it's that fat bitch. Oh my God, it is day 20 on my first year and this is already hap- I didn't even see his two heart cutscene yet. How is this already happening? We're skipping this. Um, This is quite depressing. Y'all don't need to see it. This, I found this recipe in a magazine and I thought it sounded interesting. Feel free to give me a taste if you make it. He, <laughs> Shane. Oh my God, Shane, flirting with me in the mail by giving me a recipe to a food. I literally just saw him passed out in his room, depressed yesterday. And then he's like the next day, he's just like, nope, that never happened. Here's a fun recipe I found in a magazine. Ooh, don't worry about me. Here I am once a gay. What? <laughs> once a gay, always a gay. Here I am once again, spending another full day just fishing. Um, clap if you're surprised. Okay, pretty much spent the two days just kind of cleaning up the farm for the most part because it was raining. Leveled up my farming though. I'm actually making so much progress. Oh my God, look how much money I made from the strawberries. Y'all buy strawberries from the egg hunt. Your first year, look how much money I made. All right, today is the 24th of spring and come this day, a very, very important event takes place. If I can get to it, why am I stuck? Somehow I ended up here 
um, trapped in the middle of nowhere. Why am I blocked off? How did I get here? Did I have to like awkwardly crawl through the fences? And the whole gang is here, every single person. Why is there a shop? Oh, you just get decor. Interesting, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm saving my money for better things. Emily, hello. Hey, have you tried the red jelly yet? No, thank you. I wish Spear would spend this time with the family. Girl, he's just booked and busy trying to get his bag. I respect that, honestly. Leave him alone. I wonder if Emily would dance with me. Saying that, like, standing five feet away from her, she probably heard that. Why don't you just go ask her, dude? Linus, hello. Oh, hello there. It's so nice of you to talk to me. Thank you, Linus. Linus, I love you. And of course, here's Shane by the table. Hmm, excellent sauce. He loves his sauce. And you know what, Shane? I'm gonna be honest, even though the you and I have only known each other for 24 days, I am about to ask you a very, very important question. Ah, this green stuff is spicy. Okay, enough about the sauce. I have to ask you something. Will you be my dance partner? You wanna be my partner for the flower dance? Okay. Ah! <laughs> my first flower dance on this new save, and I already have a date, already. I already am able to dance with someone. Spoiler alert. <laughs> oh my God. Why do I have five stars with him? Do you gain a heart if they say yes to dancing with you? I guess that's why, because I had four stars before this. Now it is time for me to start dance because I have to go and talk to Lewis in order for it to happen. I love that everything works around my schedule because you know, I am the main character. Oh my God. First of all, I don't mind the fact that I'm standing on the girl side. But important question, why do I not have a dress? Why am I just there in my dirty, dingy farming clothes? Oh my God, everybody's wearing nice dresses and nice suits, all clean and pampered. I don't even have running water on my farm. So I'm there stinky, covered in dirt, dancing with Shane. That was fun, time to go home. Oh my God, that was the flower dance. Wow. How exciting, indeed. I know everybody's like, wow, I can't believe you chose Shane to dance with you at the flower dance. What can I say? I mainly did that because yes, I do like Shane, but more importantly, I wanted to do it to send a message to the other guys that if I could get with Shane, clearly I'm worth it because I got Shane to dance with me at the spring dance. And um, who knows, maybe one of them would wanna marry me instead. I would hope Alex would choose to marry me because I feel like that's the one I want to pursue if the jacket didn't give it away. 